MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Almost time for these two to square off right after this. now Cesar Hernandez and we are ready for some daytime off, baseball the afternoon for Philadelphia the second baseman Cesar first pitch Hernandez. of the at bat on its way fastball oh, off the plate away for ball one guys one of D-Rose former employers the Braves as they begin play here this afternoon four and two over their last six games including a win last time out hey man if you were taking a look at a team right here in D-Rose through five games of this homestand they're three and two I know they were expecting more but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand yeah this is an important one right here you don't want to go 500 first six games especially at home on the road you can deal with it at home this is a must win. one one try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down wise decision there to make sure this ball stays foul and that's the second strike now pitch runs in on him here and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Hit on the ground is short. Swanson brings it in. And there's one down now. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey! And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. As you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent. D-Row, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His oh, zone fluctuates there. a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. The 2-1. Rounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Bases are empty, one man out. Stays alive, still two and two. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Yeah, it was a great battle there, and he was one strike away from putting him away. As a pitcher, you hate to put a guy on for free after all that work. In now, Mark Withenshaw. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Count one and oh. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that can run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Bounce it to the left side. Over to Albie. Back to Freeman, not in time, and they'll just get the one. And kids, this is why you always go hard in the 
second base. Right. Could have been an easy Perfect. double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Here's Bryce Harper now, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. pitch on its way and a pitch ball out one, no nothing touch. doing though and that's ball one now the one oh straight hey. taken the throw short hop but he's out great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Zach Wheeler gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. Dan please, Zach, what do you got? One of the things we'll look for early, Matty, Zach Wheeler. At times, control can be an issue, so one of the keys for Zach Wheeler, getting ahead early in counts. Plate Drew Waters. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The center fielder, Drew Waters. And the pitch. Hey. Dan D. Rowe, these Phillies as they begin play here today. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they've been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, I think if you would have asked the manager of this team, first five games of this road trip, you're going to go four and one. He would have signed that in blood. So let the, let the guys continue to play the way they've been playing. Everything is going nice right now. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Here comes Wheeler's 0 2. That's the splitter there, but it misses. One and two. Fouled off. Here he comes again. One, two. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. When you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. So up steps Ozzy Albies. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here, 0-1. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Ah. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, d To be able to hang in there on a two pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And no throw, in fact, as they'll just hang on to it. Well, 
He's certainly doing his best to get his team out to an early lead. Picks up the single and then decides that's not good enough, so he swipes second to get into scoring position. Now we'll see if the guys can pick him up. That's inside. 2-0. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three-hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Albies, runner at second with one away. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Hard hit ball to second. A diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now, as he sends a soft bouncer to the right side of the infield. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Really good team at that right there, right? Just put the ball in play. He does this, that gets the ground ball, and brings home the first run of the game from third. Stepping in, number 23. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. First offering on its way. Hit hard down the line. Ready with the 0-1. High and deep to center field. Racing back the center fielder. And that baby's gone. base hit things could go awry he did and he battled right back in the zone with a nice executed pitch not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two swung on and hit in the air again deep down the left field line and it's a foul ball the one two Three runs already home here. Again, he sends it out of play. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. They strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 3-0 Atlanta. Back now from Truist Park. Second inning coming up. But first, here's Heidi Watney. 
Well, Matt, there is precipitation in the forecast, but talking with some of the grounds crew here before the game, they said they don't think it will have a significant impact as we move forward. We can't expect a light sprinkle, but there shouldn't be any stoppages in play. Okay, thank you, Heidi. We'll hope that's true. And guys, what's the toughest thing about playing in damp conditions like this? I'm going to be honest with you, Maddie. If it stays like this, not a problem. It's just a nuisance. Yeah, the ball might be a little damp, throwing it across the first base. Might have to gather yourself a little bit more, but this weather won't affect anything. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Bryce Harper nope. checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1-0. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. The 1-0 is taken for ball two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. All even now, two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's, That's his it. fifth strikeout so in this series alone. Andrew McCutcheon. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. One ball. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. One out, nobody on. To two balls and two strikes now. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 two -two pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Count remains full. Another payoff pitch. McCutcheon will take one that misses. It's ball four. Batting fifth, the third baseman. Marlon. Now with the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Help, 1-0. Runner at first here, one man out. Throw over to the bag. No, he and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. The 1-0. Hit the other way out toward right field. Acuna's there for it. Two down. Batting seven, the first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. His solo shot accounted for their only score of the ball game a night ago. First pitch on its way. Yep, and a fastball is off the plate away. It's ball one. 
That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Ball, one strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it. And the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. They trail it here, three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next, the utility man, Johan Camargo. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Aye. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Pitch on the way. I got to count two and two. And they half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Number 24 stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. 1 and 1. Bases are empty. One man. up the middle and that will find its way into center field for a one out hit you don't see that too much in today's game most guys it doesn't matter what the count is they're looking to line up drive the ball out of the ballpark not the case here good two strike adjustment able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single first with it is Wheeler and the runner back easily to the plate now Max Freed as he'll square to try and move that runner over but misses for the first strike he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach right here that sack bunt is definitely staying on showing bunt ball, but he winds up taking ball one yeah and that splitter is normally the go to pitch to this guy but it really hasn't shown that good downward action that he usually has. He needs to get back to finishing it out front. Runners on first with one down. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. Well, he took a risk with the decision to go to second instead of taking the sure out of first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call. Now batting, Drew Waters. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's 
the first pitch. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that splitter again. He's looking for a double play, and that pitch certainly has enough depth on it to get him a ground ball. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. The 2-1 home. It's a slider that can't catch the outside. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. From the belt, the pitch. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Runners are at first and second with one away. Right three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if Roach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. Harper is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Two left for Atlanta, but they lead it 3 nothing. At the plate, Omar Narvaez. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. What else? Third inning starts with a slider that's looked at here for ball one. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And that is off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Wow, he puts that a serious done. charge into this ball. Ends up that. splitting the two outfielders. Mm -hmm. Bangs up against the wall in right center. And he cruises into second knowing he can't hit the ball much harder than that. Into the box, Zach Wheeler. And they'll try to get the man to third as he puts this one down. And the throw first is in time, one gun. Now back, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Striding in once again, Cesar Hernandez. First offering on its way. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Set now the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Runner at second here with one man out. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. Strike two. Three. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too the deceptive about two. that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. As the first ball pitch one, misses no to him, it's ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Now the 
1 0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. Boy, boy. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. 1 1. Two out here and a runner at second. Ball Outside two. and low that time. Now it's two balls two and balls. two strikes. Two strikes. The 2-2 two -two pitch is put in play to the right side of the infield. Albies picks it up. Throw in time and the side is with one hit, one left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Braves three and the Phillies nothing. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Where you go? Where the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Now here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. 1-1. One, one. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Full countdown. Now the 3 and 2 pick. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burnt. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Acuna digs in now. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. A runner at first with no outs here. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. And that misses two and two. This the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2 2. He's able to find an out. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 
Looking at his lifetime numbers, Ozuna comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swung on and missed that strike two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Here comes Wheeler's 0-2. So he misses with a fastball. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. So one gone for the Braves here in the third. And that brings up the former number one overall pick, Dansby Swanson. First pitch of the at bat on its way. steel try here. Ditch mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. And he'll just hang on as both runners move into scoring position now. Hey. One and two now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back days with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead, he gets the fastball. Way late, had no chance to put that ball in play. And the next in is Johan Camargo. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach. But if they can't score anymore here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. Ball and a strike. One and one. I never found myself on the mound in big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. away second and third two away and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning two left for Atlanta they lead it three to nothing Something going here. With his job. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Count now a ball and a strike. One one. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. The one-two. Misses for the Ready second ball. Two two. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. We 
you take a look at the numbers now up to this point, you see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Throw over to first, hey. runner's back. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Outside, it's that's outside the throw. He's way big. late, and he's in there easily at second. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. The 1-0. -oh. Fastball down below the knees. Three and oh okay. now. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he lost nope. him. Ball four, four as Harper will reach. Huge innings have begun with much less, I can tell you that. First and second no out, and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Ready for another chance. Andrew McCutcheon reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. From the stretch. Ball at the stretch. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. Now the 1-0. A swing, and he pops him up on it's the infield, fly, and the infield out. fly rule will be in effect here. And there's one away. That's exactly what they wanted on that pitch out of the zone. They took him off the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Coming to the plate now, Marwin Gonzalez. He flew out in his last at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Gonzalez is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. 3 and 0 now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. 3 and 0 pitch on its way. 3 and 1 to him now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. in the air out to center field. One is there, two gone. The first base is number 17, Reese Hoskins. Stepping up to the plate, Reese Hoskins. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Ready, here's the first offering. Aye. Hold one for count. Off 
ball, plate, that's off one ball, one strike. Hey. Fastball called strike, one and two. They teach pitchers to keep the ball down, but if you can locate upstairs like that, it really gives you the ability to mess with the eye level of the batter. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple, still down 3-0. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Looking at the numbers, they currently have four hits coming from at-bats where they were behind in the count. That indicates that these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and making it very difficult for the opposition to get them out. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready now, number 24. He Woody singled his last Ray. time up. The catcher, number 24. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for no more. No balls, two strikes. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. This is popped up. Hoskins moving to his left. Makes the play. One away. The picker, number 54. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Max Breed, reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Pitch on the way. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there, you thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Wind up, and the 0-1. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. The center fielder, number 12, Drew Water. At the plate, Drew Water. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, pretty deflating at bat right there, Maddie. Not only for him, but the team as well. He's got to find a way to pull the trigger. Can't get caught guessing with runners in scoring position. No balls and a strike to count. A one pitch on its way. Ball that's upstairs. Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Here we go. Two, Two and one. One strike. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Uh, three one. Popped him up. Navarez has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Braves, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point, and he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find He's a way to break the through sooner or later. The All right, thanks, Heidi. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Omar Heidi. Narvaez is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one.
into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hit on the ground toward the left. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for Philadelphia, the pitcher, Zach Wheeler. Striding in, Zach Wheeler comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. This one's down to third. Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Now batter, the second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Digging in, Cesar Hernandez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. They'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Kind of surprised not to see a fastball in the first pitch there. The guy's probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Two balls and a strike. Two balls. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. 2-1 pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Pitches popped up. Freeman put this one away and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They trail in this one, three nothing. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. Ozzy Albies with a solo homer. Second home run early in the year. And the Braves add on. It's four to nothing. Swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Career line against Jared Eikhoff. 
Just three for 14. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Lifted down the line in left. After it is McCutcheon. And they can't run it down. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Slapped hard the opposite way. McCutcheon has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A little too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. The 1-0. It's laid off for ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And this is a called strike at the letters. Looked like ball three but make it two and one instead. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. It's looked at and the count moves full. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you. But you don't want to groove a fastball either because he can take you out of the yard. And it's fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Again, another foul ball. Four runs, six hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. On a daily battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and that'll bring up the big-time RBI man, Marcelo Zuma. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Fastball called for strike two. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. The one two. Three, two yep. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. at a fastball low here and it's full three and two Dansby Swanson would be next making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up hits this one hard the other way oh and he can't come up with it he'll whip this one first in time and that ends the inning Braves able to tack on another courtesy of the solo shot we're through five here this afternoon. It's now 4 nothing Atlanta. Gene Segura standing in. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully.
the pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. And now a pitch on the way. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. The 2 1. This one's down to third. Camargo brings it in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Not a lot the you can do with that pitch. That fastball four. just ate him up inside and with gets the soft job. grounder for the out. Sliding into the box, Mark Withenshaw. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Strike one to start the at bat. One out, nobody on. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Mine to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second so knock in the game. Three. And I'm sure he'll right. take him, but the guys on the other Marvel. side of the scorecard might be thinking, we really avoided a worse fate. And Bryce Harper will yeah. get into the plate. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. It was a walk in his last trip. and one the count to Bryce Harper. Now a throw over to first. Dive, but he's back. Runner at first here, one man out. And another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in there. Another throw over. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. One one. Two one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And the 2 1 pitch. In there. Now the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. Just hung in there on that one. Try it 2 2. A half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First offering on its way. Andrew McCutcheon one, stands no in as he looks at ball one here. The 1-0. One -oh. Two ball, no strike. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot.
tight with that one. 3 and 0. Marwin Gonzalez would be next. Swinging on 3 and 0. Now 3 balls and a strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Fouled off. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Now with the plate, Marwin Gonzalez. No hits to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. A 1 0 delivery. 2 0. He's been really effective in this one so far. But it's interesting here that with a couple of guys on base, he seems to be not trusting his stuff quite as much. Kind of messing around the strike zone a little bit. 3 0 to him now. Kicks and deals. Three and one the count now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. I got three and two. And strike three called as he says, you gotta be kidding me with the side retired. And he's leave a couple. They're down four nothing. Here's the pitch. One and one. And he takes nope. one off the inside corner for ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And this one's going to nope. bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And that ball one four, misses, that so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it, but to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Here's Johan Camargo. Good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And it won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitch. home. 
Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing and a miss there, two and two. Line drive, base hit to right. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He pumps in the middle of the plate with one of the batter's eyes lit up and he was able to put good one. At the plate, number 24. And so look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Taken, but called the strike. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Now a curveball is in there. One and two now. One ball, two strikes to count. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. This is on the ground over the first. I take it to the bag and sell for the out. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. Brings home the run with a ground ball, but also moves the other guy over the third base. Good job of keeping it simple there. Into the box now, Max Breed. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Ball one, no strike. One out and a runner on third. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Drew Watkins. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two runs on just one lone hit. No errors, and no one left on base. We're through six full. Braves lead this one six to nothing. New inning set to get underway. Here comes the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. They're starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And a first pitch sinker is over for strike one. And so now the Braves will get both a left-hander and a right-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Wind up and the 0 1. And a curveball taken for strike two. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch or he's going to start getting hurt. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder giving chase, but he won't get there. It falls in. Now back. 
catcher, Omar Narvaez. Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez. Hey. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. One pitch on its way. Ball, catch inside. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. A runner at first with no outs here. Hey. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. The one-two. Change up, swung on, and missed for the first down. Wow, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight change up, El Cambio. The There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that I arm call. speed and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Your Scott Kingery will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. God. drive to left and this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases and they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double hey this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board they've been struggling offensively and they find themselves with two runners on board let's see if they can continue Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And it changes in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the double. Anderson giving the ball here to try to work out of a tough situation. Two runners in scoring position to deal with. Anderson. So now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. And he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses. I don't know if he needs a few more warm-up pitches or he's just announcing his presence with authority. Either way, watch your face. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The Great Number scoring two. opportunity Good miss right there. Mm. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. Stepping into the box, Gene Segura. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope, back down. pitch on the way and he'll try to hold back the swing but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike that's down two. low two balls and a strike two balls one strike the count Side, but it's going to be a foul ball. All 
ball even at two and two. Here it is. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. The Phillies leave a couple. They still find themselves down six seven. Zach Eflin enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 56, Zach Eflin. Ozzie Albies will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit it on the left side now. That last half, that that ball up and down and in and out. Try not to throw right down the middle of the plate. No balls in one strike. Fouled away. Heflin is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. And that's out number one. Ready for another shot now. Freddie Freeman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball in. The 1-0. -oh. Here we go. Lifted in the air to center field. Withenshaw is there now, and he has it. Two gone. The right fielder, number 13. will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He's working on a one for three thus far. Pitch on the way. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, one and oh. And that's inside and a bit low anyways, it's two and oh. Not even close with the one oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. The world is yours, don't think that it's not. You may be different, still give it a shot. Against our lives, you think the signs are even really they not. Ready to begin the eighth. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Mark Withenshaw. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Digging in. Bryce Harper goes for two for him to this point. First offering on its way. But Swing just got to try and straighten that one out. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Whoa, and he lays off there. for ball one. Right side and right into the ship. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The left field number 22. Andrew McCutcheon. Digging in, Andrew McCutcheon. A couple of walks for him thus far. First 
pitch on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. McCutcheon, or just Kutch as he's frequently referred to. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. Hey, this guy has been an absolute solid player his entire big league career, and I expect him to have a ton of suitors come this offseason. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to center field. Water. You get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They won't make a dent in a 6 to nothing deficit. This is one and one. Pitch on the way. Fly ball right down the line and left. McCutcheon on the move. He's not going to get to it, so the leadoff guys are bored with a base hit. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This is on the ground over the first. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. Hey, don't sleep on first base. I know they call third base the hot one, but there's some bullets hit down that hole too. Good effort on the dive right there for batter singles. The plate now, Johan Camargo. Nope. Oh, yeah. Fastball here as we'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. This one's a strike. It's one and one. First and second here with nobody out. On the ground is short. This could be two. Segura fields it cleanly. On to first, and they turn the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough goal. start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Stepping up now, number 24. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Come on, He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Delivery. One and one. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hit back up the middle. Throw in the oh. dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Atlanta. They lead it 6 zip. Here's Marlon Gonzalez now. He could really use a knock here over 3 in the game so far. Marlon Gonzalez. First delivery to him on the way. 
Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball and a strike. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Well, they say beggars can't be choosers. And when you're losing, you can't always choose how you get on base. But you've got to get on any way that you can. So he'll take that, even though it probably hurts a little bit. And that will bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch on its way. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Nobody out, runner on first. And he fouls this one off. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he sat down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. That's just a great now pitch, both on the call from the catcher Omar. and the execution. Omar. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball, but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. Lays off 1 0. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. fouled away. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Lifted the other way to left center. Ozuna giving chase. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first was waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold the third. Can't really fault him for that, though. Nick Williams will be called on to pinch hit now. And they'll do it in a golden RBI spot as he's got two men in scoring position with only one gone in the inning. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Oh, yeah. The 0-1 pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. High in the air out to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will beat the throw safe at the plate, and they're on the board. It's a 6-1 to one game now. now. The second baseman. Settling in now, Cesar Hernandez. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. Two out here and a runner at second. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And this will bang up against the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. The bat, number never three. say never in this game, folks. It's mm -hmm. late and the clock is ticking. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. 
We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Standing in now, June Segura. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the 1-0. Oh. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Now the 2-0. Slapped hard the opposite way. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there. And that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And he definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. 6-2 to two, the final total today. The Atlanta Braves hope for the three-run first to propel them to the win. Max Green earns his first win of the season. Zach Wheeler was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.